Hmm. I got it. A balloon. Because sky is the limit. What's up, y'all? How's it? I'm Dust One. I'm an artist from Sacramento, California. And in this video, we're going to be painting mylar letter balloons. You know, the foil balloons that everybody gets when they turn 21, 16, 10, whatever it is. Matter of fact, speaking of 10, today is my youngest son's birthday. Happy birthday, Preston. He just turned 10. Shout out to that double digit life. In this video, we're going to be painting some uh, mylar balloons, the letter balloons. And um, the way that this whole process came about is that there's an artist that I follow. His name is Huge Art, and this is actually one of his specialty techniques. This is what he's known for, is these uh, big, huge foil balloons that he paints, and they look realistic. And so I've always seen his style and always wanted to try it because it looks uh, crazy, and um, I've never had enough confidence to actually try it. And so this video i'm actually doing a hand painting i'm not going to be doing any spray painting but i'm actually going to be hand painting um, some of these foil balloons on paper and i'm going to be giving this to my favorite youtuber and we're going to do his name with these letters these balloon letters we're going to do his name and um hopefully and we're going to give it to him and hopefully he'll enjoy it let's take a look and see his channel so you guys can see exactly who i'm talking about and who my favorite youtuber is my favorite YouTuber is Poke Press. He's actually a gamer for Roblox. He has 72 subscribers. He's done 12 videos so far. Uh, he definitely gets down with some interesting facts and definitely does some very good commentary. Uh, tells you all these different uh, secrets and how to get... Matter of fact, this, this one has 4,600 views four months ago. Super crazy. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers for sure. My favorite YouTuber is my youngest son. My youngest son um, was inspired by me to do his own YouTube channel and he has done it all on his own. He just ran with it and he does his own gaming thing, got his own followers and everything like that. All right, y'all, let's get to the video. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna wanna definitely um, kind of outline our letters. So right now I'm just kind of creating really basic block letters um because they're balloons and so you gotta think about all of the creases and then like where the balloons would connect and everything like that but at the end of the day they're just really basic letters basic and so you can see right here it's just a regular block letter for the most part so uh right now we're just gonna go through this and uh hyperlapse through all of this and do all the rest of the letters So you don't need too much to do this. I'm only gonna use these two colors. I'm gonna use in black and white, but I'm gonna make a gradient. This is a Montana water base. You don't necessarily have to use this, but this is just the paint that I have right now. Uh, so it's made by Montana. It's the same company that uh, makes my spray paint. So I just use their uh, water base paint to paint with as well. And so basically what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, making a gradient to a lighter gray. And then we will start with a base tone. Uh, on each letter uh, like a base gray kind of in the middle uh, gray and then we will go and build up to a highlight down the middle of each letter and then after that uh, we'll go and put in highlights as uh, little streaks like creases and everything like that so all you're going to need is a couple paint brushes i just use some real basic paint brushes i don't use too many these are all from like walmart i might get another thinner one to make thinner lines but you don't really need too many brushes i only use two actually in this project so yeah let's just get to the video and see what happens actually i am uh doing this on watercolor paper it's just some basic watercolor paper that i got from michael's um i use it in my all my marks and test all my pins on it obviously but this is a uh, thick paper so it'll absorb this water-based paint that is obviously based with water we go. oh and i'm using this too and this is where i'm going to use to use my gradients as you'll see soon in the video let's get on to the art because we're already five minutes in 
So right now, what all I'm going to end up doing is erasing all the pencil marks. Um, so I don't really want all the pencil marks. I just wanted a rough outline. The letters are basic enough so I can basically erase everything. Uh, just wanted to get all of those sketch marks out of the way. And then I'll go in with a light gray and uh, working on each letter and put in a base gray, uh, kind of like a mid-tone all through all the letters. And then I'll switch it up and go to a lighter color and keep on going. And then I go in with a thinner brush and just add these white lines and these gray lines to kind of make them look like there's wrinkles in the balloons because you know on these balloons they kind of have wrinkles and highlights. I'm gonna use my uh, thinner brush right here because it's like a really really thin brush so these are gonna actually get really thinner lines and create more of a um, shadow and highlight I'm gonna go in with this gray right here it's a little darker and uh, kind of just add shadows to where all these highlights are <laughs> Right here I'm just adding white on top of all of the darker uh, shadows that I put originally. So I'm just adding some white paint and just dabbing it where I think the light would re be reflecting the most at. Now that we have all the letters done and complete, all we need to do is just cut it out because we have a bigger plan to put them in a shadow box and put some string on them. So let's just get to that. So now that we have all of the letters cut out, we're going to put it on this foam paper. It's kind of like a thicker foam and they're different levels. So it'll look like they're floating on top of each other. And ultimately I'm going to just glue them onto the foam and then we'll suspend them inside of a shadow box and then we'll be all done. Now that we have them all cut and next step we need to do is glue them all to the foam and then once we have them all to the foam we are going to poke holes into them and string some fishing line through the back or just through them to make it look like they're, the balloons are hanging from a string. <laughs> So now that we have all of our strings attached, the one thing that I want to do is go and drill some holes all the way along the back. Hopefully I could do five or six, because there's 10 letters. I'm hoping I can get two, two strings per uh, one hole. So hopefully I can do five along the back and then feed them through the inside and that way I can control how long they will be. But this will be like the the weight and this is actually a, a spray can cap that I used on one of my pieces so it's actually like a piece of me that will be with him so <clears throat> let's do that <laughs> Alright, 
right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and feed two lines through each of these holes. So if you go focus, you can see that there's uh, holes drilled in there now. So we're gonna try and feed these lines through there and see if we can't make it straight. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. I appreciate it. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted a video and I apologize, you know, life and everything. I'm not gonna make no excuses. I just haven't done it. And so with that said, I do wanna start doing more tutorial type videos and uh, that will be in the future. And uh, with that said, thank you guys for watching this video. I super appreciate it. You go to Pokey Press on YouTube and uh, subscribe and go wish him a happy birthday. Um, and just uh, watch his YouTube channel. If you're into Roblox or your kids are into Roblox or your brother or sister's into Roblox, he's actually giving you guys some really good information. So um, you guys should go check him out. All right, y'all. Let's get to the final product. This is it.